All right, we're back with the Six Arc. Uh, Six Arc is a cartridge that I've been trying to figure out um, whether it shoots light bullets, heavy bullets. It's a one and seven and a half twist on this rifle. So uh, I've got two loads today, uh, both with Lever Evolution, both with Lever Evolution, and uh, one of them's a 108 Burger. It's a Hunter Hybrid. The other one is a 103 grain ELDX, which did pretty good last time we shot it. Uh, I think with a different powder though. So we put this all in GRT and we actually asked Chad GPT to put this together. So we're going to see how well Chad GPT does. What I did to keep myself safe here is I modeled all this in GRT after I hit shot an original round um, of, of shots of this. So this is all going to hopefully be based on a little bit of science here and asking Chad GPT to help us find the most accurate round. So without further ado, let's jump in. I'm going to shoot the ELDXs first and then we're going to go burgers next. So like I said, 103 grain ELDXs are gonna be our first ones. Some of these charge weights are a little aggressive, which is why I, I wanted to model it in GRT. So uh, we're gonna start out with 27.1 of Lever Evolution. This is seated at 2.245 overall length. And these have CCI BR4 primers. I haven't tried these before, so it'll be an interesting test for both primers and powder. But this again is all what ChatGPT recommended in terms of charge weights. I just modeled it out because some of the charges that it gave me was a little aggressive. So the goal today is check pressure once we get there and see how that turns things out. 2498. 2473. 2461 for an average of 2478 uh, and here's the interesting thing about all that is GRT said we would get 2578 next charge weights 27.4 of lever evolution and this again was the powder that Chad GBT found to be sort of the most consistent for six arc so we're gonna see our standard deviation that was 15 feet per second Okay, a little bit of vertical stream there. Average 2501. Uh, the expected average is 2609. Our standard deviation there was 15.5. So you wanna talk about consistency. There's a 10th of a uh, foot per second in terms of standard deviation in three tenths of a grain of uh, powder there for lever evolution. So, you know, just from a consistency perspective, pretty consistent. This charge weight is 27.7, expected velocity 2641. If I had to guess, we're probably going to be somewhere around 2550. That last one strung way up, 2536 average on those. No pressure signs there. I'm fine with that velocity if I can get some accuracy. So it's possible that we need to depth uh, test these rounds a little bit. Last ones with these, when I modeled them in GRT, the pressure was a little high. Expected velocity 2672.9, 2552 on that one. Okay, those two stack 2571. Uh, that one went high and left. So we had two that were really good and then one that threw way high and left there. Let's take a look at our brass. I mean, looks fine to me here. Uh, so I, I would guess we probably do have some space to push this a little bit. I reached out to Burger a handful of months ago to get some load data and they provided it. If you haven't emailed Burger to get load data in the past, uh, the guy Phil there is super quick. 27.8 was a little high in terms of pressure on GRT, which we've seen GRT may uh, actually be a little more aggressive in terms of safety, which is fine. Uh, but w on the burger sheet, 26.9 is the max for lever evolution. This is 27.2. So we are a few grains over what burger recommends. We are loaded to mag length at 2.26 overall length. And we are just going to take it slow, watch for pressure. Not low, 24.19. 24.31. Twenty-four forty-three for an average of twenty-four thirty-one. That was a very good group. We are lower by about a hundred feet per second, which again we said with lever with the hundred and three grain ELDXs. But in terms of group size, uh, that's probably the best six arc group we've shot all day. So I love that. Let's go ahead and check that standard deviation. Standard deviation of nine point nine. This one is with twenty-seven point five of lever. 
2439 out of that one. It's another solid group. 2463.8. This was the starting charge weight that Chad GPT provided. GRT said this was a little high. I'm not expecting a lot of crazy stuff to happen here, but it could. I mean, this is a three tenths of a grain jump. So if we were right on the edge there and we're not showing consistent signs, we could be showing them here. 2464. Yeah, 2484.6. So we're lagging behind what GRT is saying by about 110 feet per second every group of shots. So uh, box says on these... 2800 at the muzzle so uh, we'll be the judge of that like i said these are factory 103 grainers 2671 2664s okay that one went crazy high and left it is on the third bull from the left top row i gotta tell you those rounds suck. Well, we have shot the burgers and we have shot the ELDXs. And the most interesting groups that I got, honestly, were out of the 108 grain burgers today. 243 is generally considered a pretty overbore. Six arc is not that. It's really got a, a shortened case capacity. So you're putting way less powder in there and you're pushing that bullet to between 2,500 and 2,800 feet per second, depending on what you're using. So my goal is gonna be finding a great hunting load for the fall. I think the burger is gonna do that for me. I certainly wanna test it on whitetail just to see what kind of impact we get out of it. But the 103 grain ELDX, I've taken multiple deer with the ELDX bullet. In fact, last year, I think every deer that I killed was with it, an ELDX bullet, either out of a 6.5 Creedmoor or 6.5 PRC. So really enjoyed the way that they performed. The very next test that we're gonna do with these two bullets is gonna be a seeding depth test. So we kind of have an idea of what the velocity is gonna look like. From here, we're gonna test a, a few more charges and then we're going to step into seeding depth to see how much that's going to affect our accuracy the next video you see out of the six arc is going to be uh, probably a mix of the two you're going to see a little of the two bullets that we're refining so the 103 grain and the 108 grain and then you're going to see some more of the light for caliber 90 grain ish bullets testing powders so again appreciate you sticking around let me know what you're interested in i'm happy to take suggestions here appreciate you being here we'll see you in the next one peace